வெல்கம் டு த பயாலஜி கிளாஸ் இந்த த ப்ரீவியஸ் வீடியோ வி ஸ்டார்டட் த டாபிக் ஆனிமல் டிஷ்யூஸ் அண்ட் லேண்ட் எப்பேத்தியலியல் டிஷ்யூஸ் இன் திஸ் வீடியோ வி ஆர் கோயிங் டு லேண்ட் த டைப்ஸ் ஆஃப் கனெக்டிவ் டிஷ்யூஸ் குரூப் ஆஃப் செல்ஸ் ஃபார்ம் அ ஸ்ட்ரக்சர் கால்ட் அஸ் டிஷ்யூ இன் கனெக்டிவ் டிஷ்யூ there are group of cells in addition to the cells matrix substances are present the matrix substances are present between the group of cells in connective tissue this matrix is fluid in blood the matrix is hard and solid in bone the group of cells and the surrounding matrix together form a connective tissue what do the connective tissues do connective tissues connect separate and support other type of tissues in the body connective tissues connect bone is connected to the muscles by a connective tissue two tissues are separated by a connective tissue connective tissue supports the body bone is a connective tissue it supports the body connective tissues involve in binding and supporting connective tissues protect the body the bone is a connective tissue it protects the organs connective tissues like fat storing cells act as insulating layer it acts as a insulating layer of heat heat conduction is prevented by connective tissues connective tissues store energy connective tissues like blood involves in the transport of substances blood is a liquid tissue it transports substances connective tissues give shape to the body and connective tissues support the body we sit we stand due to the connective tissue bone connective tissues are group of tissues in our body that maintain the form of the body and support the body the structure of the body is maintained by connective tissues and connective tissues support the body muscle is also a tissue the muscular tissue is attached to the bone bone is a connective tissue connective tissue is formed of matrix connective tissue cells and fibers connective tissue is formed of matrix connective tissue cells and fibers Now let us see the types of connective tissues. Connective tissue proper. The connective tissue proper includes areolar tissue and adipose tissue. The two types of connective tissue proper are areolar and adipose tissue. This is areolar tissue. It is like a foam. Adipose tissue stores fat. The second category of connective tissues is supportive connective tissue. Supportive connective tissue supports the body. It includes bones and cartilage. Bone is a hard tissue. Cartilage is not as hard as bone. Dense connective tissues are tendons and ligaments. Tendons connect muscles to the bones ligaments connect to bones here this is a tendon it connects muscle to the bone and the liquid connective tissue fluid connective tissue is blood and lymph is also a fluid connective tissue blood is a red color tissue lymph is a colorless fluid both are fluid connective tissues 
blood and lymph are fluid connective tissues here in between the blood cells there is liquid matrix a connective tissue consists of cells and matrix in addition to the matrix some types of connective tissues have connective tissue fibers connective tissue proper supportive connective tissue dense connective tissue fluid connective tissue or the types of connective tissues let us learn the connective tissue proper in detail now connective tissue proper consists of collagen fibers elastic fibers and fibroblast cells collagen fibers and elastic fibers are protein fibers fibroblast or living cells collagen fibers are protein fibers one third of the protein in the body or collagen protein collagen protein forms collagen fiber this fibers give strength elastic fibers are elastic in nature elastic fibers are made up of protein elastin elastin protein produces elastic fibers the skin has elastic fiber the elastic nature of skin is due to elastic fibers if we pull the skin we can understand the elastic nature of the skin at old age the elastic fibers gets reduced that causes shrinkage in the skin fibroblast cells have cytoplasm and nucleus these fibroblast cells secrete a protein that is collagen protein this collagen protein forms collagen fibers connective tissue proper is formed of collagen fibers elastic fibers and fibroblast cells the two types of connective tissue proper proper are areolar tissue and adipose tissue areolar tissue it is in the form of foam it has cells fibers they are loosely arranged in a semi fluid ground substance called matrix areolar connective tissue is formed of cells and fibers they are found in the matrix the matrix is semi fluid half fluid here this picture shows the structure of areolar tissue we can find cells and fibers in between the cells and fibers the semi liquid ground substance called matrix is present where can we find this areolar tissue it joins skin to the muscles in between muscles and skin the areolar tissue is found it is in the form of semi fluid it fills the space inside the organ inside the organs also areolar tissue is present this tissue is found around muscles blood vessels and nerves this areolar tissue provides nutrients and oxygen to the nearby organs adipose tissue is made up of fat storing st cells group of fat cells or adipocytes form adipose tissue they are oval in shape they store fat they are spherical or oval in shape it serves as res fat reservoir is a area of fat storage this tissue are found in subcutaneous tissue subcutaneous tissue means the tissue found below the skin the tissue found below the skin includes adipose tissue that stores fat adipose tissue is found between internal organs in between two organs adipose tissue is present the fat storing tissue acts as a sponge like tissue in between organs around the heart and kidneys the adipose tissue acts as a cushion a sponge like appearance 
the actors shock observers around kidneys eyes and heart when the adipose tissue is found around the organs it acts as shock absorber and the adipose tissue also regulates the body temperature by acting as insulator insulator does not conduct the heat the adipose tissue found below the skin acts as heat insulator the actor's shock absorbs around the organs and the adipose tissue regulates body temperature especially the tissue present below the skin acts as insulator let us move on to the second type of connective tissue supportive connective tissue it supports the body the supportive connective tissue includes bones and cartilage let us learn the bone first bone is a hard tissue let us see how bone cells are arranged and form a bone bone cells are arranged in a matrix the matrix forms concentric circles you know what are circles when circles are arranged one inside another the circles are concentric circles the matrix forms concentric circles called as lamellae the lamellae have cavities called as lacunae lacunae are cavities found inside the lamellae inside the lacunae bone cells are present bone cells are present inside the lacunae lacunae are cavities the bone cells communicate to the nearby cells through small channels called as canaliculi bone is a solid tissue rigid tissue and strong tissue it is not flexible it is a skeletal connective tissue it is solid rigid strong and non flexible it is made up of cells called as osteocytes bone cells are called as osteocytes where are the osteocytes located they are found inside the cavities called as lacunae the matrix of the bone is rich in calcium salts and collagen fibers the calcium salts and collagen fibers give hardness and rigidity to the bone the matrix gives bone its strength let us see cartilage it is also a connective tissue but it is not as hard as bone it is flexible cartilages are found in between two bones here the cartilages provide smooth movement cartilages are also present at the tip of the nose and external ear if we touch the external ear we can feel the nature of the cartilage end of the long bones have cartilage here the cartilage is found at the end of the bones provide free movement our windpipe trachea also is made up of cartilage our larynx larynx is a voice producing part that also has cartilage cartilages are soft semi rigid flexible tissue the matrix is semi rigid the matrix is not hard it is composed of cells called as chondrocytes chondrocytes are larger than bone cells chondrocytes are cartilage cells they are found inside cavities this diagram shows lot of cartilage cells called as chondrocytes they are present in cavities the cavities are full, filled with fluid called as lacunae lacunae are cavities filled with fluid inside the lacunae cartilage cells are present here this this arrow shows a lacunae containing cartilage cells cartilage cells are called as chondrocytes cartilage provides support and flexibility to the body parts let us move on to the third type of connective tissue dense connective tissue in this tissue the components are tightly packed the components are tightly packed with fibers and fibroblasts fibers are protein fibers collagen and elastic fibers fibroblasts are living cells they are tightly packed and they have less matrix 
tendon and ligaments are the dense connective tissues tendons and ligaments are connective structures dentons connect muscle to the bones ligaments connect two bones first let us see tendons then tendons are connective structures this is a bone and there are two muscles here there is tendon another tendon and another tendon this tendons connect muscles to the bones tendons are cord like strong structures they join skeletal muscle to the bones what are skeletal muscles the muscles connected to the bones are called as skeletal muscles tendons have great strength and limited flexibility the strength of tendon is half that of steel ligaments are also connective structures they connect two bones they are found in between two bones they are highly elastic structures and have great strength they connect bones to bones they contain very little matrix here the components are tightly packed so tendon and ligaments are dense connective tissues the ten ligaments strengthen the joints and allow normal movement by connecting the nearby bones the ligaments strengthen the joints so normal movement is possible now let us recall the types of connective tissues connective tissue proper it includes areolar and adipose tissue areolar tissue like a foam adipose tissue is made up of fat storing cells they store more fat supportive connective tissue support the body bones and cartilages are supportive connective tissues bone is a hard structure cartilage is flexible dense connective tissue are tendons and ligaments tendons connect muscle to the bones and ligaments connect to bones the fluid connective tissues blood and lymph are fluid fluid connective tissues blood is a red color tissue lymph is a white color tissue both are fluid connective tissues we will learn about the fluid connective tissues blood and lymph in the next video